guys. So today I am coming to you with a burk <laughs> bookish. <laughs> I don't know why I said burk. <laughs> um, a bookish kind of cottage quarry birthday haul. Um, I went to Portland for my birthday. We're from Seattle. Um, I went to Portland for my birthday and got to go to Powell's, which is a very beloved store, bookstore. Um, it's new and used books and it spans a whole city block. And I think there's also, there is multiple Powell's locations. Um, but yeah, so got to go there and got to go to the Saturday market. Um, trying to think of what else I got to go to a cool local printing press. Um, and yeah, so I got to do some really cool things. Um, so I got a few things for my birthday. I actually got way more on this trip than I would normally get, but last year I was actually planning to do this. Um, and then that was like right around when COVID really kicked off, things were at its strictest. Um, and so did not obviously feel right about doing that. Um, we were, we're pretty close to, to Portland. And so um, this felt respectful and yeah, we, we had a really, really good time. Um, Portland is going through it right now. So downtown Portland was a pretty interesting place to be, but, um, was still able to get some goodies and have a really good time. Yeah. That's all I'm going to say on that. But anyways, so to get started, um, I'll show you the first thing. It's kind of going to be pretty crinkly. So let me turn your headphones down a little bit if you're listening with headphones. But um, the first thing that I got, and it has my goodies in it, so it's kind of, yeah, like I said, it's pretty crinkly right now. But um, it is a tote from Powell's. I actually have um, a tote from Powell's from forever ago. Like, let me think. 2015, 2016. Um, and it's like, I like big books and I cannot lie. And so I had that tote still. So held up for a really long time. So I got this one. It's really cool. I'll show a close up, but it has just like Mount Hood and just like, I think a bridge, you know, the sign, Powell's books, old town, all that. So I thought it was really, really cute. Okay. So the first thing, um, that I got Let's see here. Okay, this is not the first thing that I got, but this was from the Saturday Market. Um, and this was from a store called Wandering Goods Handmade with Oregon Love. I had their business card here. The guy who runs it is so friendly and nice and knowledgeable. Um, and so, yeah, I'll leave his information down below, but highly recommend um, his store. So he had this really cool deal. It was like five for 20. Um, and he, yeah, it was all like ethically sourced, um, fair trade, like I think organic, I think, I'm not sure entirely, but it was, it seemed really, really legit. And so I got, um, a body spritzer, two body spritzers. So one is called Mellow Mode and it's calming and it's lavender and tea tree. So kind of like a more simple combo, but oh, it is so relaxing, <laughs> like just to smell it. Um, and then the other one is called Unity, which I think is really, really similar to Thieves by Young Living, um, but I don't want to support MLMs, so ended up going with this. Um, it's just, a, it's just a room spray, just our body spritzer. It just smells, smells good. Um, and it says clove, lemon, cinnamon, eucalyptus, and rosemary. And I love it. Um, I know a lot of people, like I actually am using up the rest of this thieves, um, cleaning, cleaning stuff, cleaning liquid supply. I don't know why I'm calling it cleaning liquid, but yeah, it's a cleaner and I'm using that up. Um, and I like love the way it smells. I'm like, if this were a candle, I would burn it. Like, I, and I feel like everyone just thinks it smells like a weird cleaner or something, but I like, I love it. So, um, was really hyped to find that. And then I also found the essential oil version of it. So just loving it. Can't wait to throw it in the diffuser. Um, 
everyone's gonna have their thoughts and opinions on it. I used to be like all about essential oils. I feel like I more think of them now as like they might have healing properties. It might be a little bit overblown, but at least, you know, it's something where it's like it makes the room smell good without being as toxic as candles, I think. I feel like there's gonna be people debating no matter kind of what side you pick. So I'm pretty like neutral on it, but I do really like the way it smells. So I was really happy about that. And the other things I got ooh, ooh, as part of the five for 20 was um this rose hipster. Anything rose is my like ticket. You know what I mean? I just, I love lavender and I love rose. I love lavender and rose together. Um, And so I just, it's so just so beautiful and feminine to me. I just love it. Um, and so this has, you know, rose hips obviously in it, um, and patchouli and a few other things, but really, really love the way that this smells. And then I think the other one, um, my husband picked this out for himself is charcoal face detox. Um, so I don't know if he's going to use it on his face or his body or whatnot, but, um, activated charcoal and tea tree. And so he got that for himself. Um, Okay, sorry. It says right here what it is. It says patchouli, orange, and rose hips for the rose hipster. Um, and then when we were just talking to him, we just he was super nice. We we're hitting it off. We we're having a conversation. Um, and he was like, he was like, here, I have some bars that like didn't turn out properly. They're kind of like shaped weird. So like here you go. Um, have them. So that was just super super nice of him. Um, and this is warm and stimulating, and it is cinnamon bear. So cinnamon, clove, and bergamot. Oh, I love it. So, so yummy. And then the other one is Sweet Dreams, Lavender and Chamomile. Oh man, they're just all so wonderful. I cannot wait to use these and have them in the shower. I feel like when you use really yummy, like anything, kind of any shower product, but uh, with all the steam and everything, I feel like it just turns into like this beautiful, like essential oil diffuser situation um so yeah that's what i got from wandering goods i'll leave their info in the description but yeah super super impressed and the guy who runs it is a gem of a human being so the next thing that i got is from nil organic tea um and again i'll leave their information in the description um i have gotten teas Oh man, I need to find the company, but it's from a company in Port Townsend. I think they might have other locations, but, uh, I think it's this tea and spice exchange. Um, and it's in Port Townsend and I love their tea, but I'm running low on it. Um, and like a loose leaf, cinnamony, hibiscusy, cranberry, plum, those kinds of like flavors, um, are like totally my ticket. And I put like some lemon and honey in it and it's just, it's my like it's so good. Um, and so I was kind of looking to refresh on that. And then they had cranberry spice sangria, um, caffeine free herbal tea. And this has uh, cinnamon, ginger, organic, or they're all organic, actually. So I should say, um, so all organic ingredients, cinnamon, ginger, hibiscus, rose hips, cranberries, cloves, lemongrass, rose petals, and spices. And so he was just saying, him and his wife went to, um, I think they went to like Tivana or something like that. And he got her a bunch of tea. And then when she got home, she realized that like most of the flavor just came from artificial flavoring and, um, just kind of went on this mission to create a more, you know, organic and, um, I don't know what, what to say, like an organic tea company. Um, and so, yeah, I don't know. It was super dope. They, they have like a little family and they like, this is their company and they, they live off of it. And yeah, he was super nice. He's the one who designs the packaging and she's the one who does like more businessy end of things from what he was saying, but totally loved. Um, they had so many, so many cool flavors. Um, but I just kind of stuck to what I knew anyways, but, um, yeah, totally, totally excited to dig into this. Oh, and I forgot to say, it's really cool. They gave um, a free little, you know, reusable tea satchel thing to, as like a free little gift or something, something to go with the bags. Um, and so I thought that was really cool. And I'll definitely be using this. Um, 
I have a lot of like different tea strainers, but um, always looking for more. <laughs> the next thing is from a company called Art Jaden, um, and it's Abigail Renola to Jaden. I'm sorry if I'm butchering her name. She was like literally the sweetest thing ever. She had so many good food recommendations. Um, she does like dog portraits. And so you can like send her a photo of your dog and she does a dog portrait for you. Um, but when I was there, I just picked up some of her like handmade cards and sticker, uh, stickers. And so also I just thought this bag was so cute. Ooh, look at that. So, so cute. Um, but yeah, so I love kind of like pen paling with a few friends. And so I got a few cards that I thought were just so cute um, that I cannot wait to send to them. So the first one is you be looking like a snack. And so again, hopefully I've recorded some close ups of this and you can see um, blank on the inside, but yeah, super, super cute. Um, the next one is love from the hood. And this is, you know, obviously Mount Hood, Portland, Oregon, you know, and then the last one is the Pacific Northwest. And sorry, my lights are kind of glaring it out, but yeah, cause they're kind of a glossy finish, but yeah, she had like a ton of cards. It was really hard to choose. Um, and then I got this dope little sticker and it says love from the hood. I think she said she trademarked that phrase, which is super smart of her. Cause that's such a cool little like idea. So yeah, I got that from Art Jaden and I'll leave her info in the description as well. Um, and then let's see here. So the last thing that I got from the market specifically, um, was just this, um, little lavender rosemary lip balm and we we love a good a good lip balm here um I don't know if cracked lips can be genetic but my mom is super bad cracked lips so I feel like I'm always like on the verge of that and yeah um so she kind of like designs these quirky little like caps for each of them and so I just kind of picked out one that I that appealed to me but um, this is from a little stand that had pretty much exclusively like lavender products. Yeah. Um, and there were a lot of cool things there. And if I was trying to spend more money, I easily could have, but, um, yeah, it was really, really cool. Lots of like body oils, massage oils, like cuticle creams, um, those like heat bag things. Um, I used to never care about lavender, but my mother-in-law is like super into lavender and she kind of like turned me on to it. And so now I just love it and I feel like it's so relaxing. Um, and so I'll leave her info as well in the description and it's, um, it's Portland Lavender Haven. So that's the company and I will leave her info in the description as well. Moving on. So the next thing is from my my dear Powell's. So like I said, I showed you the bag at the beginning. So it was kind of weird. I went to the main Powell's um, and I think it's on Burnside. I'm not sure. I went to the main Powell's, had to wait in a pretty long line to get in, which makes sense. Um, and it was respectful and spaced out really well and everything like that. Um, but I got a journal and a mug there. And then the next day I felt like I didn't get enough time there because the stuff on the printing press that I'm going to show you, it was only open on Saturday. And so I really was like, uh Oh, I really want to make sure I go there because I can go to Powell's on Sunday again, if I want to. So what we ended up doing was just like, I was like, Oh crap. And like left and got the couple things that I saw there. And then we ended up going to a different Powell's, um, on Hawthorne the next day. So from the first Powell's, I got these things. Okay, so this mug, I am so excited about, like, how, oh, I keep going to the wrong side, guys. <laughs> um, how friggin' beautiful is this? Like, holy crap. Like, I saw this through the window when I was waiting in line, and I was like, You're coming with me. Must have above anything else. Um, pretty reasonably priced, too. Um, $17. I don't know for me I I uh, if I saw this at like Pike Place I feel like it would be priced at like 40 bucks um and so it's by Linzo Clayworks 
and Handmade in Oregon. So I will link her thing below if I can find it because it doesn't have any more information than just the name. But yeah, it's just like so stunning. It's like that clay feel, handmade feel. Like it's, I'll show a close up, but I mean, it's chef's kiss. Um, and then I also got... I got this journal. So, um, looked, they had such a massive journal section. I literally whittled it down from like 10 journals to this one. I picked this one for a few reasons. First of all, just like a gorgeous cover. Um, and then also, um, I just thought like, I liked how floppy, floppy it was. Like for me, I hate, I, I'm actually getting more into spiral bound, but only if it's like quality spiral bound, because nothing bothers me more than like a spiral bound that's like coming off its hinges. And you know, like the pages are all like falling off the bottom of it. You know what I mean? Um, but like a quality spiral bound or a really floppy, um, you know, flat book. That's also like my MO. So I'm really just done with journals that aren't floppy. So basically this is super, super floppy and the, the quality of the paper feels really nice and it's like, it's like grid, but it's like very, very subtle gridded. Um, because nothing, I, I really don't like, you can't see it right now. So I'll have to show it in a different light, but basically it's like really subtle grid. And I really, really like that. I don't like, um, notebooks when it's like the grid is like super, super in your face. Um, I just feel like it takes away from it, but this is really subtle. So I'm really excited to use this. It's super cute. It has like, you know, different mountain peaks that are really, really high. Um, this is from cognitivesurplus.com. Don't know what that is, but um, if you want to check out this, you know, journal company, that's, that's who made this. Um, so those are the two things I got from Powell's. And then the second day I got the tote. Um, there were some books I was looking at, but honestly, you guys... My TBR shelf is like really, really big. And also I did get a Kobo e-reader and I read not exclusively on it, but I do read pretty much most of my material on it. And then if I read a book on it that I really like visit, like, and I have the physical copy, then I'll keep the physical copy. But pretty much unless the book is like a, a 10 out of 10 for me, I'm just like letting go of physical books. I'm just trying to keep ones that are really special to me. So I didn't want to get more just for the sake of being at Powell's. I was more looking for like bookish things. And I really feel like I found that that mug is like definitely, I think my standout, um, super in love with it. And so then from there, we went to this place called Oblation oblation kind of a interesting name oblation paper and uh, papers and press so it was like a a printing press I don't know if it's like local to Portland if it's just like a company that's only in Portland or if there's chains but um the first is um this a5 dot grid and it's in its um book still but it's Tomoe River paper which if you haven't heard of Tomoe River paper and for some reason it's showing up like really almost like sandy colored and that's kind of how it was showing up in the store but right like now in front of my face it's like a like a, a stone gray so kind of interesting um but it's um from Pebble Stationery Co and it's Tomoe River paper if you have not heard of Tomoe River paper you need to look it up like now because it is so amazing. If you use fountain, fountain pens, if you watercolor in your journals, it's like the thinnest, most delicate paper, but it holds up like a beast. So, um, it's Tomoe River paper in here. It's thin. I'm going to open it up right now. I'm sure there's another way to do this, but I'm just doing this. I don't know why. Okay. So yeah, really kind of like textured cover and the best part is man the inside feels so good first of all very thin lays so flat I don't know hopefully when I do the little flip by you will see how just delicate thin chef's kiss that this paper is again really subtle like grid dots um and so gotta love that it's not overly thick 
Something I've come to learn about myself is I'm not a huge fan of, um, of journals that are really, really thick and linger on forever. I would rather a journal be shorter and me spend like a meaningful but short amount of time with it rather than like really, really thick journals where it's like, this will take me like a year to get through or two years. Um, I got some really beautiful ones from Barnes and Nobles a few years ago. Um, and they're like really thick leather bound ones, but there's like almost 400 pages in them. And I literally, I had like 30 pages left and I just gave up. I was like, look, honestly, this has been dragging on too long. This relationship needs to end. I need to look for another one. And so I started on my next journal that's like shorter and spiral bound and I'm loving it because also the other one was like really thick and it wasn't like a lay flat kind of journal. So it's like my evolution of understanding my journal tastes. <laughs> And it was like, I was just really over it. Um, and then the next thing, just moving on from that random topic is this woodblock print of Mount Hood, Oregon. Oh my God. This is so stunning. I saw this card at, um, it, that's how I actually heard of, Ob well, I looked up Oblation when I first got there. I was like, Hey, cool. I want to go there. But then when I was in Powell's, they had one of these cards. It was a dollar cheaper than the actual store was selling it for, which is kind of annoying. But anyways, um, I was like, no, I'm not going to get it um, here. I'm just going to go to the actual store. That's why we left Powell's originally and went to there. Um, and then when I got there, they had, um, they had these, this set. And I was like, okay, I could get one for like $8 or something insane like that. Or I could get six for 23 and these would be really cool to send to my friends as I'm doing my letter writing. Um, and so it's just like these super, super beautiful, um, cards of Mount Oregon. Oh my God. They're like literally to die for. Um, I can't wait to show a close up of this. It's just so beautiful. So I'm really, really impressed with that. Excited to send those out. They had the cutest, like it was like a snowy cabin in winter with like this color scheme, man. I was like at Christmas time. I, you best believe I'm going to be getting a pack of those and sending those out. Um, you guys let me know. I don't know if it's like a Canadian thing or if my family's just antisocial, which is like my family is antisocial, but, um, I, our family has never sent Christmas cards and we're Canadian. And so we've also never received them. Like it's just not a thing. So I don't know if it's like my family is just like really antisocial and, um, Man, I cannot seem to get these back in this box. Um, sorry about this. Uh, it's like the fight of my life. Okay, there. Um, but yeah, anyways, I've never grown up getting getting Christmas cards or sending Christmas cards. And so I, me and Luke have never sent out Christmas cards. Um, and I get Christmas cards from people and I'm like, cool. Put them on the fridge for a few months. Um, but yeah, so I was like, maybe this will be like my year to do like really low key Christmas cards and just kind of write out how we're doing. Um, I don't know. Anyways. Okay. So the last thing that I got that I, things that I got were actually from a few weeks or why am I saying a few weeks ago? It was last week on my actual birthday. We weren't sure if, um, this weekend would work out for a multitude of reasons in Portland. We weren't sure if that would work out. So we we're just like, okay, well let's just do something on my birthday so that if that doesn't work out, like, I don't feel like I like lost out again. Cause like, I don't know if I, honestly, my brain is kind of fried right now, but I cannot remember if I said at the beginning of the video that like last year I was intending to do the Portland trip and then that obviously did not happen. Um, and so yeah, we basically, um, went out to Pike place market specifically. I wanted to go to the printing press store there and just spend as much time as I wanted perusing everything. Cause normally whenever Luke and I go, he loses patience after a little bit and it's like, let's go, let's go. Like you're taking forever. And so I was like, I want to go there and I want to look around as much as I want. And I want to be able to like pick up every little, not pick up cause I know it's COVID, but like look at every little thing that I want to look at, um, and get a couple things from there. And so that's what I was able to do. Um, and then we just went to the actual market and I I didn't end up getting anything else, um, except for like a cookie, but, um, that's obviously not here today. <laughs> Anyways. So got a couple things from there. Um, some of it I'm happy with and one of it I'm not happy with, and I will explain why. So the first thing is these stickers. They're pretty expensive, four or five bucks each. Um, I'll show close-ups of these. One just says West coast, really like neutral blue color palette. Looks really cute. Love it. Um, and then the other sticker says, heck yes, it's Napoleon Dynamite. 
Um, super random, but I just like rewatched Napoleon Dynamite the other night for the first time since like high, not, not even high school. When did it come out? Whatever year it came out, I watched it. it was super young, didn't really like hit with me, did not hit with me, it just didn't really care. And then for some reason the other day, Luke and I were like, you know what, let's rewatch that. And I honestly really loved it. And I thought it was hilarious and like unique. And so I'm not like Napoleon Dynamite is not like my favorite movie, but when I saw the sticker, I was like, I've got to do this. Um, so there is that. And then the last two things I got um were these journals. So one is from a company called Design Works Inc. that had actually been looking at this online because Target sells this like journal company. Um, but they didn't have these specific ones. And this is like a different version of the journal I'm actually currently using. So really quality spiral bound. Um, and I just, I like this. Um, I think it's too blown out to see, but it just, I'll show it in this, in the close up. but it just, I feel like it looks cutesy the way it's set up. Um, and so I'm just noticing that it has a dent in the cover, which makes me really, really sad. Um, anyways, but yeah, just love like the cool green color of this. Um, love the gold, love the quality spiral bound, love the inside. The paper feels really high quality not too long of a journal. Um, and it's like, a, I like this size of a journal, um, in terms of like, you know, inches measurements and that kind of thing. So yeah, really, really happy with this one. Now, sadly, the one that I'm not happy with is actually made by the print press itself. Um, and I'm not happy with it for any reason of like design or anything like that. Um, I think the cover design is just stunning. It's like this diamond with like this river, little fishies, a pathway through the woods, the trees, this like sun situation. I don't know. It's beautiful. So really happy with the design and the color. It's like this beautiful, like dark green. Um, but what I don't like about it, which I didn't know upon buying it because it was in like a plastic wrap, um, is that, I mean, come on. what is this? It's like, do you see how much I have to bend it to even get it? Like, it's just, it's, um, okay. So sorry, my camera cut off. I guess I was talking way longer than I thought. Uh, um, so yeah, anyways, sorry, sitting in a weird way for a while. It's kind of hurt my back anyways. Um, yeah, not, not too enthused. The design on the front is cool. The color is cool, but you're a, you know, it's like, it's your, you're a journaling company. Come on. Like, you know, this, you should know that most people don't want a journal where when you're writing the other page is going to be pressing up against your hand. Like I was just really disappointed. Cause like I said, it was in plastic wrap. So when I finally opened it, I was so excited. I thought it would just be like flopping over. Um, you know, it was pretty expensive and it, it makes sense. It's a handmade item. So it's like, I'm okay to pay more money for small businesses, handmade things, um, things that take, quality and time, but, um, I just feel like they should probably fix that unless, I mean, there are people out there who like their journals folding up on them like a clam, but, um, yeah. So was a little bit bummed about that one. I don't know why I left this one for last. Cause now I'm kind of ending on a sad note when it's like, I literally love like everything else I got. Um, Oh, also I am going to probably insert this in afterwards. Um, this turtleneck is something that I got while I was there at this, like, thrift stores thing. So hopefully maybe I'll show a, a thing of this sweater. It's just like a really, really intense turtleneck mustard yellow, which is my jam. I got this at a thrift store in Portland. It was like a, you know, kind of pricey thrift store, but um, honestly I had pretty similar prices to Goodwill. So anyways, got this thick, chunky, really comfortable, very soft, you know, not itchy, really intense turtleneck. Um, that I love. So I'll hopefully show a close up of that as well. Yeah. I feel like after that, that journal, I need to, I need to mellow myself out. <laughs> um, anyways. Yeah. So just had like a really amazing birthday. Felt really like blessed. Um, last year times were a lot scarier, especially financially for us didn't really end up doing much for my birthday. And so it just felt like almost like a double celebration because I went harder on some things I normally would. Um, I hope that you know that I would 
I'm not saying any of or, or showing you these gifts in any way to make you feel jealous if you if you can't afford things right now or whatnot. Um, purely trying to showcase some cute cottage quarry things that I got um, that I'm really excited about and um, leave these small businesses links below in case you are interested in um, purchasing from them. I think this is the time to support small businesses if possible. Um, and so I'm really glad that I think everything I got stuff from is a small business. Um, maybe one or two of the things isn't a small business, but um, generally really happy at what I got. And yeah, um, like and subscribe. That's like a YouTuber thing that I'm trying to remember. It really does help my tiny little channel. So if you could like and subscribe, um, that would make, or, or comment, or comment. Okay. I'm really not getting the hang of that very well. But if you could like, subscribe, or comment, that really does help my small little channel. Um, and I'm also not, sorry, this is the most like messy outro ever, but I'm just keeping it real. Um, I'm not a, I'm not sponsored in like literally any way, shape, or form. I don't like, if you buy something, I don't have a code or anything like that. Like I am not in any way sponsored. Just really thought it'd be fun to show off these cute little cottagecore bookish little things I got for my birthday. So yeah, um, comment, like, and subscribe. I got it that time. <laughs> um, sorry, I'm, I'm cringe. <laughs> Anyways, have a good day. Um, and thank you so much for watching my video for however much you watched it. I cannot literally believe that I talked for that long and um, <laughs>